Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Um, this is a video following on from my blog post the other day where I talked about having had a low couple of weeks. And I just really wanted to share with you what that was about, um, what it felt like, and um, what I kind of noticed as those weeks were happening. Um, I'm really pleased to say that today I can feel myself kind of um, leveling out. I can feel myself sort of returning back to optimism and hope. But it had been a really sort of difficult couple of weeks for me. And I wanted to kind of share with you um, just a little bit of kind of what it was like and, and some insights that I took from it, I guess. Um, the first thing was... Uh, a real strong noticeable feeling of shame because I kind of felt like hold on a second I'm a counsellor I'm a life coach I should have this stuff kind of licked I should be immune from this stuff and then of course I reminded myself like no if you were talking to a client you wouldn't say that you are human you are not um, immune from having these low spells but I really felt a strong sense of you know, I'm not putting stuff on social media, people are going to think there's something wrong with me, will they think I'm a good life coach if I'm having a low, will people want to do work with me if they think, well, you know, if he hasn't got his stuff together, then why should I work with him? All that kind of stuff that was battling around in my head. Um, and it resulted in some sleepless nights. Um, it's not been a great couple of weeks, to be honest. So I thought the best thing I could do was kind of not post. Um, I have a bit of a... a policy with myself that I don't post things when they're raw. Um, that's a personal boundary for me is that I share stuff with you but when I'm processing it I feel like that's my time and then once it's processed I can feel comfortable in sharing it with you guys. Um, but you know firstly thank you so much. Thank you so much before I talk about anything to do with the last couple of weeks for everyone that kind of messaged me on social media or sent me private messages or reached out to see if I was okay. I was so touched um, by the unexpected kind of kindness um, of my following and uh, I say I was kind of uh, the unexpected. I know you're all lovely people but I guess that's part of my kind of psyche is why would people want to know if I'm okay. So it was a real kind of reminder of of my worth and thank you for that. I really kind of genuinely from from the bottom of my heart mean thank you. So what was it like um, being having a low couple of weeks considering that the, that last couple of weeks for me has probably been the closest um, I've been to my symptoms of depression in over 18 months. Um, scary was would be the first word. Scary because I thought shit I'm going back into depression here. Um, and I explained to a couple of friends how I have these uh, signs and one of them for me is like the air gets really thick and I feel like I'm kind of like pushing through thick air um, and that for me is a kind of sign that when I feel like I'm operating in a bit of treacle um, that's a sign that things are sort of on the down and so I started to get a little bit scared a little bit panicky about shit what does this mean am I going to end up back with a you know clinical depression and then I just kind of thought okay um, how can I practice some of the stuff that I talk to my clients about but it was really really hard and it was a reminder for me about when you're in that low place um, all the voices can be so convincing you know the voices can be you know don't leave the house don't say anything to people close to you they don't want to hear it Lots of kind of negative self-talk was happening, um, but I managed to kind of find a, a thread of my own advice, and I took myself off to the gym um, in the second week, and that's when I kind of did started to realise that, oh no, I am, I am in a low here. So I took myself off to the gym um, just to get some headspace, really, and to you know physically exercise. I'd, I'd noticed that I'd not done um, any physical exercise for a long time, um, and that that really helped. That kind of gave me a bit of a boost, and it just kind of got me up to a point where I could, um, you know, be present. Um, and then I kind of tuned into my meditation again and got back on meditation. Um, not as much as I would like to. I've probably in the last couple of weeks only done four or five meditations, no longer than 15 minutes each. But it's just enough to kind of create that, create that space for me. Um, and then I, then I kind of had what I um, would would call my introspective time. So when I have these low spells, as much as all the the critical self talk is going on, if I can kind of meditate that away or just try and create some space for me to say what what am I hearing in this low what is it teaching me um, and I guess what I came away with was 
it's a cliche, but life's fucking hard. Um, that's what I came away with. You know, everywhere I look at the moment, it feels like there's suffering. Um, everywhere I go, it feels like um, there's there's a issue to face, um, both on a humanitarian level and a kind of like a global level. Um, and it just kind of, I think, I think it all just got a little bit too much. You know, at the moment. I'm a vegetarian and I'm moving my diet over to veganism um, and that's kind of based on my own values but it's hard to do that um, and it's almost like now I've seen some of the stuff about the dairy industry I can't unsee it. Um, I'm mindful of my carbon footprint more and more. I'm looking at the, f the food that I eat and the waste that it produces and just desperately trying to do everything that I possibly can to not be a part of the problem. Um, and the problem being, you know, overconsumption, um, greed, materialism, consumerism, that kind of stuff. But, but also I think the, the hardest part that I've kind of experienced over the last couple of weeks is a recognition that I am a boy of the West. So as much as I sit here and espouse all these virtues about ways of living, I still love to go around home sense and have a look at throws and cushions and bedspreads. Um, and I'd started to, to resent that part of me. I'd started to resent a little bit of who I am. And that's not a great place to be. And a, and a very good friend and I spoke on the phone and she said, you know, uh, you are who you are. This is your journey in this lifetime. You have been born into the West for a reason. Um, you might not know it yet, but to resent who you are is is kind of feeding into darkness really that's not turning towards light and it was a really powerful kind of actually i feel like that's what got me out of the low was was recognizing that hold on a second you know i am who i am yes i love cushions and i love throws and i love interiors and stuff um and yes that doesn't feed into it's a, a conflict to some of my values around environmental awareness around materialism consumerism um, but at the same time punishing myself about that doesn't allow me to help the people that I really want to help so there's so much to talk about there's so much that um, I want to share with you and I'm going to share with you over the course of the next few weeks I feel like this downtime for me um, has been a real kind of it's been hard it's been really kind of hard but it's also been fruitful and there's a lot in there you know, probably you're already sensing my like blah, 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 blah. I just want to tell you everything um, but in a more cohesive way in a more coherent way in a more articulate way um, because I feel like the, you know this is potentially just turning into a waffle the point of this video was to firstly let you know that I'm okay um, for secondly to let you know that things pass you know I had that motto in my mind the whole time this too shall pass this too shall pass even though there was that little voice going, no, it won't, this is forever now, no, it won't, this is forever now. Um, and you know, the, the power of, of those dark spells is that you can, you can go right down into a spiral. You, know, you, can, you can go like, what about this, what about this, what about, and before you know it, you know, there's no point to anything. There's no point getting out of bed, there's no point functioning, there's no point engaging with other people. Um, and it's a real kind of, it can really trick you into doing nothing. So I'm not doing nothing, I'm doing what I say you, um, you can do when you're in those low spells, which is to speak out. Um, I'm out the other side of it, but I spoke out, I reached out to some close friends um, and said, look, I'm, I'm in this space, like... What, you know, can you just talk to me? Can you just hear me out? And I'm really thankful to to them and to all of you, as I say, that offered me those those words of support. So over the next few weeks, you should be seeing me a little bit more present, um, a little bit more kind of um, engaged and with more to say. So I hope you tune in. Um, in the meantime, there's more talks coming up. I'm taking on life coaching clients and allowing myself to be a perfectly flawed human being and, and know that I can still work with people in a healing capacity despite that. Uh, you know, we're all, we're all facing a struggle that many of us know nothing about. So uh, for me, kindness has come out again as being something that's really important um, and gratitude as well. You know, just being grateful for the fact that when I had that low, you know, I had the friends to support me, I had a roof over my head, I have people that 
that care about me um, and you know I have a body that is physically healthy that can kind of carry me through the functional aspects of life when when the mind is kind of playing tricks so um, there were definitely lessons in the last couple of weeks I'll share them with you but um, I'm going to stop talking now and just say thank you so much um, I really appreciate you guys uh, supporting me I hope you um, uh, enjoy the content that I share and continue to share and if you do then please share it yourselves um, or otherwise just just enjoy it but um, thanks anyway and take care <laughs>